Oh, I can finally breathe. Jeez. We got it to work. We've got the main ITX rig getting frame gened by this uh, Slave 3050. And finally, it's all working as intended. Oh God. Obviously this is not gonna be the final arrangement. This is just, you know, externally powered. We're gonna power it from this rig and it's gonna look quite clean. Um, I've spent the last three weeks on this. I've taken it apart, gave up on the idea for about a week and only today I had a brilliant idea and it worked somehow, magically. All right, I'm gonna to cut to showing you guys kind of the inner workings to this because obviously now there's, uh, as you can tell, there's an Oculink cable getting routed to this. So I've had to jerry-rig some stuff. Yeah, so I guess I'll cut to that and then show you guys how it's gonna be powered. Yay! Okay, so here is the setup. Uh, I guess this might be hard to do with one hand, but let's try. So as you can see here, we've taken one of the existing NVMe slots and routed it through, uh, where is it? One of these cables. This is a NVMe to Oculink female, if it would focus. There we go. That's basically an Oculus, uh, Oculink port, rather not an Oculus port, what am I saying? And this is a regular M.2 slot, right? So originally, I didn't actually have it like this. It, it didn't really, um, it did not go into this, the, the slot that is connected directly to the CPU, or what I think is directly connected to the CPU. Originally, the plan was to access the NVMe slot behind this uh, riser cable, as you can see, or you can't see rather. Just believe me, I guess, there's, there's a drive behind there that I originally took apart. Uh, and the idea was, sorry about the shaky camera work, I'm trying to support her off my body and all sorts of shit. So this was in there beforehand, all right? Um, took it out slapped this on there on that side and then i was pretty certain i tested it on the test rig right that we needed to route the nvme slots uh well we needed to route the gpu through a chipset slot um and i'm pretty sure that was a chipset one who knows um this motherboard just seems to prefer using the one that's directly connected to the cpu for whatever reason um so I ended up basically canning this project. I was like, you know what? It's not going to work. Um, and today I was like, you know what? Let's, it, the original plan wasn't even to do this. The original plan was to hook it all up, which I did again with that slot, test it with different biases, test all the different settings. I even added some shielding on top of this with like a metal plate just to, you know, I was thinking there might be some crosstalk that's happening. It's none of that. It's quite literally turned out that if you just switch the slots, you don't nearly need to change any motherboard settings and it just works. So big learning. Spent about three weeks on this. I'm absolutely stoked that it actually works now. So that is the data side of things anyway. The original plan, also this bracket I've designed to just hook on to here so that we actually have a... Uh, well, if it would focus again, this is going to be very hard. I'm going to support all my pinky finger. Jesus. Whoa, that's not working. All right, let's move you here. There we go. So, oh, on the bottom side there, that's where your Oculink port will go. It's, you know, pushing quite close to this GPU, but there's still plenty of clearance. Um, yeah, so that gets routed that's that probably looks about right cool all right let's do that then maybe tilt it a bit down okay cool this really is a i don't know i don't know if this is the best way to do it. Um, but it works. 
and I'm, I'm kind of just happy that it fucking works at this point. So we pull this out. The idea with this connector is we should be able to route it through and it's just enough clearance. Um, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but I've had to shave down all of the clips associated to this, this little connector. And that was a bit unfortunate because I thought it would be quite a straightforward type of fit. Um, and my welding skills, not my welding, my, my soldering skills could definitely use some practice, to be honest. Um, it is supposed to just screw in there. Now it's being a bit of a pain. Cool. Right, now we do the final connections, I guess. So this one, we don't need this two pin, uh, this, this extra two pin, so I might just bring that up like this. And connect them up, hopefully. Now, okay, for the most part, actually, let me just do a continuity check while I'm here because I won't get another chance. Perfect, all right, that's looking nice. Always do a continuity check before you get your shit all wrapped up and, you know, you're never gonna open it again or so you tell yourself. So, all right, I'm happy with that. And then this, Hopefully, you should just be able to tuck in somewhere here. And that's all the power stuff done. So, I'll give you guys a little look, yeah? So, here we go. That's your that's your barrel jack right there. Your Oculink cable at the under. And all of it kind of nicely sits around this side. It's being routed all the way around. via that cable and that ties in to this power supply. Somewhere at the top there. Okay. Now, all there's left to do is to connect this all up. This is the barrel jack cable that we'll be using. Remember to use high gauge stuff because you never know. Mind you, this, uh, this whole setup with the 3050 is not gonna ever draw more than 75 watts. So probably a bit overkill using like 18 gauge wire on this. Um, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Unlike Nvidia. All right, I'll cut to when this is all closed up. We'll hook it up nice and cleanly there. And yeah. All right, that took way longer than I'd hoped. But this is kind of the setup here. Apologies for the noise. We're running the, we're running the setup at the moment. But here we go. We've got your Oculink cable plugging right in to the Oculink port. And then the best thing is our power so our power just comes straight from there goes into this and plugs in there so that's basically the setup eGPU proper one uh, and at the moment we've got cyberpunk running path traced everything maxed no upscaling no nothing and you can see we're taking about 48 frames and we're able to push it with the 3060 to around 240 that seems to be the sweet spot I have had to make some adjustments in the BIOS just to force everything to be PCIe 4. Um, but latency wise, uh, I don't know if I can... You, I can't really tell. Uh, it seems to... Oh, I'm going to die in this. Um, I With the eGPU, the latency is just not an issue. I'm feeling... Obviously, it doesn't feel as good as what 200 hertz would, right? Or 240 hertz. But it's nothing above what the uh, existing frame rate is. So you're getting the latency of 40 and you're able to push the frame rate so much higher. So yeah, I think the next step to this is simply to put an enclosure around it. Maybe I'll use like a 90 degree Oculent cable just so the cables route to the side. Um, and basically just make a, uh, make a nice little enclosure for this really that will kind of house this whole unit and we can use it as a stand for for a external g or oh, external monitor so actually let me bring the external monitor i'll be right back okay so nothing set in stone here but this is kind of the idea that i was going for where the gpu 
while the monitor sits on top of this GPU which will be in an enclosure and then after that all the cabling and stuff you can't really tell where it is I mean in the back it looks kind of nasty but that 90 degree connector will basically get rid of that as an issue um, and when it comes to just how far this right now obviously the, the monitors kit is sitting quite back just because it's slipping but you can imagine if there's like a nice little platform ish looking thing and yeah that just becomes a little external gpu you can plug in whenever you want and it can just perform like this uh when it's you know chilling at home so making it all portable hopefully now granted this is already a really powerful portable system this is overkill i know that but it's just an idea and i wanted to make it so it's been it's been tough making this, but I think I've had a really good time uh, figuring out all the design side. I might end up putting the design files online if there is you know demand for this, but at the moment I'm just gonna kind of keep on going with the uh, enclosure design, and yeah, we'll just pretty much take it from there. So yeah, uh, hopefully you liked the video. Next part we're gonna complete it make it look nice and clean now that the thing actually fucking works so yay i'll uh, see you guys around take care